Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. How are you all today? Did you have a nice day? So just just get comfortable and you can get into your jammies or whatever is your sleeping clothes and get comfortable in your bed and I will be there soon with my story so make sure that you have a cup of your favorite tea sleeping tea and get into your warm jammies and go under the cover get all tucked in and be ready to have a restful night so before I begin my story just breathe gently few breaths just very soft calming breath and just take a deep breath in on the count of four out with the count of eight just do very slowly and put away all your worries and stress everything far far away the day has ended and the night is here now is the time to relax, let yourself go, feel completely free. You are not here to do all the thinking and worrying. That is just the extra chore that you take up on yourself. Leave all the thinking and worrying to the universe, to the God, to whoever the power the greatest power that you believe in everyone has different different religion and according to their religion everybody believes to certain god or some powerful figure who is all above us and who's making all the decisions and since he's the one making all the decisions, you should leave all the worries on him. And you can just rest, relax, let your body go. Feel totally relaxed and calm. And just sink into the story. Close your eyes. Have gentle, soft smile in your face. Let your entire body be thankful to the universe, to the God. It does not matter what kind of day you have. Leave everything on Him and be thankful for whatever good, bad, whatever it was. Just wish tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day, a wonderful day. So tonight, We'll just relax with this story in my story. So today's story is about worshipping our body. Now it's kind of really a topic which never been talked about. I know the culture I'm from, we worship everything when we first purchase our house we do worshiping on the inside the house and that's like a worshiping the God inside the house do house blessing and do prayers and then we have housewarming party and when we buy a car that same thing we have the prayer for the car blessing the car and then some people do have a party in their home with their friends just to celebrate the car buying 
how it goes for everything like uh, any kind of achievement people have they celebrate but only thing I haven't seen people doing or celebrating is um, their body or just you know appreciating it or celebrating or worshipping it's not something is done so regarding this going to do a story today so in this story there's a character named Neha and there's a Neha has her family members so as the characters come I will talk about their names so Neha was um, a middle-aged woman and her life was initially really really good but as she reached middle-aged and as it happens with most of the people if they have taken care of their bodies really well then it's okay but if they did not take care of themselves that good then by the time they reach middle age they started having all kinds of health problem so Nea was dealing with many different kinds of health issues and she was really feeling bad about this and this is the time comes in people's life sometimes people think that everything is out of control so Neha pretty much had it like that her health was failing and the children were going out of the house because they were all going to colleges and going about their jobs they were pretty much grown up and her husband also that time got into some bad things so Neha was upset about that too and he was drinking and he was into had some infidelity so she was also very upset about that so this was a point of time in Neha's life when everything was very difficult so throughout her life whatever work she had done and the money she has saved she decided to just take that money and go somewhere and do something different because she really wanted things to change and she knew that in order for things to change she has to start the change first so she just gathered up whatever money she had and then she had a very good talent she had talent of singing so she decided that wherever she will stop by she will do some freelance singing job in the some restaurants or some night class and things like that and that way she will earn some money and she will always have some cash flow so as she was gone in her way well she met um, this yoga guru and this yoga guru was very very good and his advice is really good many people had benefited from his advice so Neha went to him and he didn't charge that much people just gave him whatever they felt like giving if they had any money they gave him something and but if they didn't have it they didn't bother to give any and he didn't charge anything so she went and she asked this yoga guru about some help and she spoke about her health problems and then he said that our bodies and our mind as our spirit 
the soul they are not same they are two different things bodies are just the house for the spirit so the body and the spirit are two different things so just like if we are going to a house and we're going to live in that house we kind of have to make that house our own so we will decorate it the way we want and then we will clean it and keep it nice and clean and just take care of it so same thing if we buy a car we will just take care of it maintain it and then you know, make it our own such a way so the yoga guru told her that she needs to start taking care of the body and appreciating it since the spirit and the body they are two different things these two have to come to a same ground same level of understanding then only her health will get better so she started thinking and then as with the yoga guru's advice she started meditating started from 10 minutes to a 30 minutes and this 30 minutes she had the job to unite the spirit and the body she started doing that and then he asked her to when you unite the spirit and the body then you start appreciating every organ so there was a ritual created for her and where she would go on and do this meditation where she would appreciate every parts of the body so she will start with the hair and then she will say but well, thank you so much for my beautiful hair it's just so dark and beautiful and head full of hair and i love it and thank you so much for being there for me then she will go on to the face and thank everything like the eyes the nose the ears so she will say thank you so much for this beautiful eyes and, and the eyes that i can see the world and enjoy the beauty and enjoy everything everyone around my life because i can see them and she will just thank so she took the time of thanking every body part for 30 minutes daily when she started doing like this and as he saw within a month a lot of her problems started going away and she felt much better and this gave her a lot of encouragement and then she started adding another 30 minutes of the day to thank for the people in her life she just started thanking for her children and she started thanking for her husband and she started saying the thing what they meant to her and how they made her life better and how much she appreciates for them being her in her life so she started doing a thank you session one for her body 30 minutes and one for her family 30 minutes and as doing like this in six months her total life changed she saw that her husband and her children they all started looking for her and then finally they came in touch with her and then they started begging her to come back and then this started telling her how much they miss her and they want to all be family together and then she noticed the visual changes into her body and how all the organs and everything started working together and all her problems started vanishing 
and she was so shocked with this ritual and appreciating and it was just so amazing to her and even shocked to see that she could actually change everything about herself just by focusing on those things and admiring and appreciating and acknowledging and then everything started coming to her as very clear that as we start giving our attention uh, to anything uh, or everything then those things started coming to us to our life and the only reason that those things are gone from our life or not really good in our life is because we stop paying attention to them so uh, it's like to say out of sight out of mind so if we visualize and pay attention to this thing and start appreciating then everything becomes really good another thing she found while she went to her journey leaving everything over the month of six months period that when she wasn't with anybody and she just took care of herself and her needs and being attention to her body and her organs and just herself and that time she got the time to actually pay attention to the nature the animals and the birds everything and she found out that in nature the animals and everything all day was about them they just took care of themselves and they ate and they slept and drank and if they had little babies who needed to be taken care of, they did for them but they didn't really take care of the big ones big ones took care of themselves and so she found out that in nature animals give a lot of time taking care of themselves but um, as humans give a lot of time to take care of others and not themselves so that time she realized that maybe we are not designed to take care of so many people and their problems because if when we do that we are neglecting ourselves and when we're neglecting ourselves over time then we our bodies and our minds and spirits they don't work together then we get very sick and cannot function especially the people in our life they give a lot of stress then this stress gets built up and then our health totally breaks up so Neha learned a lot throughout her journey and then one year later she came back to her family and when she came back everyone was super super nice and her husband and her children everybody was nice but the most important thing in one year Neha learned that before everybody becoming very nice to her she needs to be very nice to herself so by staying away from everyone for one year she learned to appreciate herself take care of herself worship herself admire herself and put herself first before anybody because she realized that her spirit her mind her body were different they were not same thing the spirit was just residing in that body body was the house for the spirit in order for the spirit and the body to work together they need to appreciate each other and take care of each other and invest some time to each other just like in order for a relationship to sustain we need to invest some time in it and nurture and take care and appreciate 
same way the body and the spirit relationship so Nia learned a lot of things and these things really really helped her and after that her life was really good and she learned how she needs to invest in herself and then invest in all her family members so this is the moral of the story today is that uh, our spirit soul in the body is two different things and if we want the body to work well then we need to start taking care of it appreciating it and giving time to it then only it will work with the spirit so thank you thank you thank you everyone hi thank you so so much for being here today i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video thank you may god bless you all